and welcome to the show. I am here today taking a look at the Art of Rally, which is an absolutely fantastic looking little rally game. It drives very well indeed. Uh, this is just the demo of the game. You can actually download it and have a go with yourself. I'll have a link in the description because I very much recommend it. It's wonderful. I was excited about this game as soon as I saw it was being made, as soon as I saw pictures and videos and whatnot of it. It looks it looks incredible and it drives as well as you might hope. Uh, being the demo, we've only got one stage at the moment to play around with. That's in Finland. Uh, there isn't, I don't think, AI times anyway, so that doesn't all particularly matter. And we've got the, the stage, we've got it in reverse as well. Uh, ooh, shall we go with a nice sunset? Let's go for a sunset rally. So, well, we have got one stage, we've got lots of weather to choose from for that stage, from rain and night time, and I haven't actually seen the sunset yet. Uh, cars, we've got two at the moment to play with, again, being a demo. We have a Metro 6R4, and we have an Escort, and they've got other names for copyright and all that, but we know what they are, really. Let's start with the Metro, shall we? Uh, let's go for the actual, <laughs> the actual liveries. Ooh, we've got interesting colour sky going on. Um... Now, the graphics might not be to absolutely everyone's tastes. So that's fair enough. Personally, <laughs> I think this game is is incredibly, incredibly pretty. Um, there is a replay mode as well that we'll have a look at in a minute. Um, yeah, I think it's a phenomenal, phenomenal looking game. Uh, oh God, let's not balls things up in me. Very easy to make mistakes on this. Uh, now... You may almost feel familiar with the camera angle and everything. That is because this was made by the same team that made Absolute Drift, which was another very, very well-made top-down, or drifting game in that case, but driving game. And I have to say, they know what they're doing when it comes to both the top-down camera angle, which is a very difficult one to pull off, I have to say. It's not something you see very often these days, uh, but the top-down camera angle for racing is... Yeah. <laughs> oh, careful now. It's very difficult. You need the camera to be able to see far enough ahead that you can kind of plan what's going on while still being able to see what your car is doing where it actually is on the road, uh, especially when we've got rallying when you bear in mind there's lots of things like trees and hills and all sorts of other dangers. Now, we've only got one stage here to play around with, so I couldn't possibly comment on everything, but I am going to say they've done a bloody good job here. Uh, it doesn't... Oh, God, I, oh, I'm not doing a very good job with my car, that's on me. Uh, <laughs> but... It, at no point did it feel like I was fighting the camera. Now, whenever I play top-down racing games, it's often taken quite a bit to get adjusted, but here, despite this being what is probably one of the almost worst sorts of racing for a top-down viewpoint, never really felt like I was fighting the camera all that much, so yeah, credit where credit is due. It won't be for everybody, this camera angle. There are some who very much do not like this, and that's kind of fair enough, but of all, as I said, all the top-down races I've ever played, this has done it uh, about the best. Oh, careful now. I've got to be, I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, we are still racing a rally car on some gravel and a quick, ridiculous rally car on some gravel as well here. Uh, don't look at the... <laughs> I want to look at the pretty scenery. I <laughs> can't. I've got to try and keep control of this damn thing. Uh, oh, is this a jump? Now, the only difficult bit oh, that will take some getting used to is the elevation changes, of course, because you don't see that quite as well from back here. Uh, you, there are, helpfully, I guess, and it'll probably depend on rally to rally, but there are, helpfully, being Finland, you've got, like, the big gantries that kind of denote where the really, really big jumps are. There's a couple of places where it's going to take some time getting used to it. Uh, there's kind of... You can sort of use the lighting to judge what is maybe downhill, what is maybe uphill. Um, it's a different sort of challenge. It's a different sort of challenge, but again, as I said, does a pretty good job like there, for example. You can tell it's doing something. Here there's likely to be a jump. Not a massive jump that time around. Um... And, I mean, to be fair, Finland is, let's face it, the one that's going to have the most ridiculous uh, sort of jumps going on, most ridiculous sort of airtime. Oh, I'm off the course a little bit. Get the car back under control. There we go. That's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely sunset if you want a very, very pretty rally stage to race the cars through. And of course, I guess being top down, you also never get the ridiculous glare that you can get in. Oh, that's a really big jump. No, don't play with the trees. Christ. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you never get crazy. The crazy falls of sunset. It's just glare on the screen the whole way. It's going to be another crazy jump, isn't it? I almost don't want to be too... Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, didn't want to be too fast over there and get into massive trouble. Now, I've only run a few times through here. 
I have no doubt <coughs> you can get away with more in these cars. I have no doubt you can ooh, carry a lot more speed than I am. I'm playing a little bit cautiously. I think we're now coming up towards the end of the stage here. Let's just not do anything silly around the final couple of corners. Oh, we're on the banking there. That's fine. We can bop the posts away. That's no problem at all. I think we've got a couple more corners. Is that the finish line over there? No, no. Do you have to change onto a different road? Oh, we got to change onto... Oh, there's... Oh, yeah. Don't change onto a different road. There is like a tarmac bit afterwards. Ooh, and there we go. Uh, <laughs> Oh, though there is some times. That's there we go. That's that's where they, they can be found. Um, so I they didn't pop up. I didn't notice them before, but you can find sometimes. So this was on one of the harder difficulties. A lot more speeds to be found in the car, uh, no doubt at all. Uh, just I mean, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous game. <laughs> Look at it. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this art style. It's great in that you know if you go with a photorealistic art style, yes, you, you know it's possible to make quite realistic looking games. But unless you have an insane budget. After a little while, your game will age quite drastically. This will pretty much never age. You know, <laughs> it's always going to look good with this sort of cartoony style. Uh, I mean, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it really, really is. Uh, right, so that is a run through the stage with the... Uh, what's my call? I was, I was on skills. There's a tougher difficulty as well. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a tough game. I have no doubt about it. Uh, shall we go with... I want to go for... Can we get some rain? Come on. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be, at the moment, a way to... Uh, oh, bugger, I skipped through it. That's just mashing shuffle weather. There doesn't seem to be a way to set the weather at the moment. It's just shuffle. We will do... There we go. That's what we want. So we're going to go for some rain, and we're going to run the escort... In the rain, do we have any? Ooh, uh, do we have any fun liveries for the? Ah, <laughs> okay, cool. Let's go and run the escort. Now, I haven't driven in the rain yet, uh, so let's go and see what this might be like. That looks like a very British sky we have going on there. We have it. Ooh, puddles. I'm going to expect aquaplaning is going to be a thing that we're going to have to deal with. That'll be, I say, fun. That will be interesting. Now, of course, the escort. Oh, yes, okay. I was just playing around with the puddles, seeing quite what they did to the car. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we're going to have to be careful. The puddles are going to just throw the car around a little bit. It's going to slide about more. Of course, this is a rear-wheel drive car, so it is naturally going to slide about more. Uh, probably, oh, yeah. There we go. We'll go with the second gear coming out of there. It's, it's There's a lot of puddles on this Finnish rally state. I've not really been particularly brave uh, with the car here. But never mind. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, now handling. Let's deal with let's deal with handling physics, shall we? Uh, it drives very well. It drives very well indeed. Now it takes some getting used to. I've turned off the stability control and um, God, what's it? ABS and all of that sort of thing. Now there is a setting that I have left on. There's like a steering correction. This makes it a little nicer to drive with the controller. I left it about 50% for that at the moment. I might get used to it. Uh, I don't know whether this game works with the wheel currently. I haven't tried it. Uh, it would be interesting to try, but of course this camera angle does make perhaps steering inputs a little bit different. It's a good... Ooh, careful Ford. Uh, can we grab a, a bit of handbrake? There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm def I mean, I'm not the most confident with sliding the cars around at the best of times. Here it is easier to get the cars into a tank slapper. Practice is, is going to be needed. But for, you know, what is a kind of arcade top-down racer, this has a better handling model than a lot of actual racing games I've played. So, again, kudos on that one. It is certainly... It's a, it's a challenge. I think the best way, only the best way to describe it, and this is always a sign of a good game, is it's relatively easy just to pick up and, and drive. It's going to be tough to master. You know, you can, ooh, you can get the car through the stage, but you want to do it quickly. It's going to take some practice, and I like that about it. I, you know, it's, it's certainly not shying away from being a challenge. A very, very different animal. The uh, <laughs> Escort is to drive here. Oh, where are we going? Get it around the corner. Yeah, I can't really do I don't really trust myself to do much of the tail out antics with this car. Oh, that was probably not a place I wanted to get a massive airtime over. Not if I could help it. Oh, we're going to slip. We're gonna, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just the 10 mile an hour tank slapper as I'm desperately trying to get the car back under control again. Oh, I've got off there. Uh, now, 
There is... Come on. There we go. There is... There was a damage option. I don't know. From a, the couple of crashes and pings I've had in... Uh, sort of practice. I haven't really seen stuff. However, the damage is supposed to both have terminal like terminal crashes that will knock you out and mechanical damage that will slow your car down. Uh, I don't know if there is any sort of UI information to, to tell you when you... I presume there probably will be somewhere at some point. I mean, it's a lovely kind of minimalist UI that you've got going on. You've got the how far you are through the stage on the left, the time at the top right, and the gears at the bottom, and that's that's it, and that's kind of all, all you need. Uh, all, it focuses on, well, it gives you as much of the screen to see where you're going as possible, while giving you the information you might possibly want around. Oh, that was that, that was quick. <laughs> it was sort of uh, on the edge, on the edge of grip with this car. We're gonna, uh, we're slow, I mean, I'll get a little bit more. I mean, it's just, yeah, it's more more practice you have. I literally was about to say I was getting a little bit more comfortable with the car, and then immediately I get into trouble. Come on. There's a gear in there, or there's a forward momentum in there somewhere. Don't I say don't slide around, and you're kind of supposed to slide around a bit with an escort rally car. However, <laughs> however, we've already spun it a couple of times. No, there goes that tank slapper. It's just if that starts happening, I'm going to grab the brake and we're going to sort it out first, and then worry about accelerating afterwards. It's silly. Uh, <laughs> when I say it looks silly, and we lose time. However, we lose less time doing that than having a crash. We have a big jump. Oh, clonk. Uh, cars do kind of like bounce around on the landing. You've got to really set the cars up for the jumps. I mean, while, yes, kind of visually it's, it's a very arcadey game, you've still got to be very careful with the vehicles. They'll bounce around on the landings. If you take off slightly twisted or slightly misalign the car, uh, you are going to be in trouble. I don't know whether you can roll the cars. That is always a sign of a good game, is if you can roll a car naturally. Uh, I haven't... I haven't managed to in my experimenting so far, but that's not to say that you can't. Certainly, uh, there are, I have no doubt, situations where you can. Uh, ooh, even like, I guess the crashes that I've had, sort of running wheels into like ditches and so on, haven't led to, or mostly have hit trees. But I say, mostly have hit trees, more often than not, the crashes have just involved tank slappers and spinning the car. Uh, there are... As I said, some, some various assists you can turn on to uh, kind of give you assistance with all of that. Uh-oh! 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 Finish line! <laughs> little wide! Little wide of it. Uh, and apparently I was fastest through that stage. Oh, the car had like electrical issues. That's kind of cool. Wow, they really did not like that stage in the wet. I'll take it. I might. Did I turn down the difficulty? I don't even remember personally. However, uh, <laughs> I've also just noticed the, the uh, guy's name in second. I like... Uh, in fact, a lot of them are uh, actual rally drivers. I didn't notice from that first one, but yes, a lot of them are actual rally drivers, which is which is very cool. I like that. Just with slightly slightly altered names. Uh, yeah, I have no doubt you could go much quicker than that through there. Need a little bit more practice. Uh, then finally, I'm going to run. So we're going to run the stage in reverse. I'm going to run it at night. Now, I have, I have experienced this game at night time. It's bloody terrifying. Normally, when I'm filming videos, I tend to avoid night stages or any sort of night racing, really, unless for a very specific reason. Uh, predominantly because, well, some of you might be watching on their phone or, so, you know, worse quality, not so good internet, etc. And, well, I mean, you're not going to see much. Hell, me currently filming this can't really see much going on because I've got glare going on on my monitor a bit. Uh, so <laughs> it's going to be really fun. So I'm going to run the stage in reverse. <laughs> I mean, rallying at night is always uh, terrifying. I don't know whether you can break your lights. You would be entirely screwed if you did, especially with this kind of camera angle. Um, but yeah, you can go for the full nighttime experience. Now, this, oh god, is maybe a smidge... Oh, well, you know what? Ask about rolling a car. Fantastic! It is fully fail race approved. Uh, <laughs> that, I mean, of course, of course I managed to do it after talking about it. Uh, yeah, you can roll. I don't even know quite what I hit or how I rolled there. I know I was going over a crest. God, I mean, this does kind of make like the elevation changes a little easier to spot in some ways because of the way you're like... It's just very pretty and very cleverly done. Uh, but yeah, you can kind of figure out where the elevation changes are by what's get, what gets lit up. And the little like reflective poles along the sides 
uh, make it just, it makes it like doable basically. It makes it so that you can actually see what's going on and can ju you have just enough information to be able to figure it all out. Oh, that's going to be a big crash. And now it's difficult to see from this angle uh, as such, but certainly from like, the replay angles and whatnot, uh, you can have, you'll get like the brake discs glowing on the car as you drive around. Again, oh, that's a tough corner all of a sudden. Uh, <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> but yeah, the brake discs will glow. I like the little fire shooting out the back of the car, and it's all very, very effective at night time. We're going around the heavy. I mean, okay, sure, this is just the reverse of the previous stage. I don't know the stage well enough to really feel confident with it, let alone now suddenly tackling it in a different direction. Where are we going? I don't know. Ooh, no, Metro. Thank you for being a little bit more. I mean, I have a little bit more confidence in the all-wheel drive rally car than I do the rear-wheel drive one. When I'm having issues with like tank slappers going on, the rear-wheel drive very lightweight escort can get you in trouble. I mean, the Metro 6R4 is hardly the, whoa, <laughs> the easiest vehicle in the world to drive at the end of the day. Oh, and round the hairpin we go. Little bit of sliding. Just the faintest. Yeah, I'm, I'm not anywhere, anywhere near. I'm not good enough with the handling model to be able to make the most of sliding the cars around, so I am just going to drive in the way that's going to get me through the course as quick as possible, with as few mistakes as possible, uh, while admiring. It's very easy to get distracted by how pretty everything is, in kind of like a really interesting minimali minimalist way, sorry. Uh, <laughs> very easy. To want to, like, I want to go exploring the scenery a little bit, perhaps more than almost driving the cars around here. Uh, where we are, we're about three quarters of the way through this stage. There's some, probably some big jumps coming up. And I really look forward to some of the other stages. There's supposed to be a bunch of different uh, different countries, a load of cars. I really cannot wait to play this game. Really, very, very much looking forward to it. Absolute Drift uh, was a game I loved. I'm not a drifter in any way, shape or form, but I very much enjoyed playing through that game uh, because... It was, it was excellent. The cars were lovely to drive. The... Oh, where are we going here? Uh, yeah, the cars were great to drive. Oh, challenges were fantastic. Again, that was a similar sort of graphical style. Uh, this is just taking it to a, a whole nother level. And I especially love having a replay editor. Or let's say like a replay editor. Like a, actually be able to watch the replay and have some camera angles. There's a photo mode in there as well that the thumbnail image will have probably come from. So... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to launch the car. That's a huge, huge amount of airtime across there, but we've got it down in, in time. There's actually not been a terrible run for me so far. I'm not going to... I shouldn't have said that because now we know what the cursed commentator is like. Yep, there's a tree there. <laughs> it's, just, it's immediate. Immediate, immediate curse of the commentator has gone on. Oh, and there's a couple more corners to go. I know this is just before the... Well, what was the start line, this little bit on the tarmac? Oh, and again, you've got to get used to sort of different grip levels on the different surfaces. Oh, that's fine. Through there. That will be across the finish line. Uh, we got a fourth. We got quicker. We got quicker. We got up here. Yeah. That's not too bad. I'm a long way. Apparently, I'm good with the rear-wheel drive cars despite being terrible, and bad with the all-wheel drive despite being better. I don't know. We lost a little bit of time with that exploration, but that would have still put us fourth anyway. Regardless. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Just realised it said, did it say hashtag scode on the bottom of the car? I believe it did. <laughs> but there we go. Um, yes, go and check this game out. Uh, give it, give the demo. I mean, the demo is, let's say, it's, it's free to download. It's not a big download. Go and give it a try because it is 100% worth it. Look at how pretty the game is, and it drives. It drives as pretty much as good as it as good as it looks. I cannot wait to to play this game properly when it does come out. That, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.